So in our application of structural induction, we will need the following properties of full binary trees. And so we're going to define these properties recursively. Now recall, when we are defining the length of a string, where a string is a recursively defined set, we had to follow um, the recursive definition of the string in order to give a recursive definition of the length of such a string. So we're going to follow the same procedure um, for defining both the height of a full binary tree and the number of vertices of a full binary tree. So first let's begin with the height of a full binary tree T. So recall that a full binary tree T is formed recursively through a basis step and a recursive step. So to begin by defining the height of a tree, we need to begin by defining the height of the tree formed at the basis step of the definition of a full binary tree. So recall that at the basis step, the full binary tree is first defined to be a single root. So to begin by defining the height of a full binary tree, we need to begin by defining the height of a tree consisting of a single root. And so we're going to define the height of such a tree consisting of a single root to be zero. Okay, now recall now recall that to define subsequent trees, we apply the recursive step. And trees defined at the recursive step take two previously defined full binary trees, T1 and T2, and simply attach to each of them a root connecting to the root of T1 and the root of T2. So we want to define the height of a tree formed in this way. And so we define height of a tree formed in this way by taking one to account for the vertex or the root being added to these two trees that make up this new tree. So we take one and add it to the maximum height of the two existing trees that make up this new tree. So the maximum height of either T1 and T2 plus one gives us the height of this new tree formed from these two trees by simply adding an additional root. Okay, so now lo let's look at the property of the number of vertices of a full binary tree T, tree T. So again, we need to begin by defining the number of vertices according to the tree formed at the basis step um, of a full binary tree. So again, we consider the full binary tree consisting of only a root, and we define the number of vertices to be one since the total number of vertices of a tree consisting of a root is simply one vertex, the root. Next, we look at the tree defined as a recursive step by taking two full binary trees and adding one vertex, a root, to the top of that and connecting that root to each of the roots of the existing trees, T1 and T2. And so to define the total number of vertices of this tree defined at this recursive step, we simply add one, that additional root or vertex added to these existing trees, T1 and T2, and add that to the number of vertices of T1 and the number of vertices of T2, and it is clear that this is the total number of vertices of the tree formed by simply adding a root to the trees T1 and T2, connecting them with each of the each of the roots of T1 and T2. Okay, so this provides us with recursive definitions of different properties of full binary trees, and we are going to use these properties um, to show an additional property about full binary trees using structural induction. But first, let's learn what structural induction is in the next video.